Today you're going to use a list of materials and a given amount of money to decide what items to buy for your classroom. You're also going to write an equation to represent the remaining money. This task is called classroom supplies. Your teacher has blank money to spend on materials for your classroom and asks the students to help decide how to spend the money. Use the list of materials to think about which items will benefit the class most. So in this part right here, you'll want to check in with your teacher to see how much money he or she has to spend on the materials. Pick at least, oh, and then scroll down to the next page. Here are all the lists of materials. So a box of 20 markers costs $5, and you can see all the different materials that are available. Pick at least one item you would choose and decide how many of each item you would get. Draw a picture to represent how much money will be spent and how much money will be left. Write an equation, and you're going to use the letter M as the unknown about the money left over, and then solve for the unknown. Let me show you how I would solve for this task. Let's say my teacher had $100 to spend on the materials, and I want to buy boxes of pencils. One box of pencils is equal to five dollars. So I'm going to say I can buy ten boxes of pencils. Here's the picture I'm going to use. I'm going to use a tape diagram to represent how much money will be spent and how much money will be left. So here's one box of pencils and it's $5. Two, three, four, five, And then here is just the money left over. And remember, I'm going to use the letter M for the money left over. So here are my pencils. Oh, shoot. Sorry, I only drew five. I meant to draw 10. One, two, three, four, five. Sorry about that. I got ahead of myself. There are my pencils, and then here's my money left over. And then finally, this whole total is a hundred dollars. Okay, write an equation to represent how much money will be left. And remember, we're going to use the letter M as the unknown. So here's my first equation. I could do 100, that's the one I'm starting with, minus 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 8, 9, 10. So I have all my boxes of pencils. I have my starting dollar amount. And if I subtract all that, I'm going to have M, my money left over. Here's another way I could do it. I could say 10 times 5, because there's the 10 boxes of pencils that each cost $5, plus M, my money left over, is equal to $100. It might be easier for you to look at this tape diagram to see this equation because I see 10 groups of 5, 10 times 5, and I see M plus M, and that's equal to this $100. And then finally, you might decide to do something like 100, my starting number, minus 10 times 5, my boxes of pencils, equals M. That is the same thing that I did up here. I just simplified it by representing my boxes of pencils by 10 times 5. Remember, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 groups of 5 equals M. It's super important that we use parentheses to organize our work so that we know we want to do this operation first before we do any other operation. So I want to multiply 10 times 5 here and 10 times 5 here before I add M or before I subtract. All three of these equations are correct. And then obviously you'll solve 
for the unknown. So you'll solve for what M represents in this situation. Remember, you get to decide what you want to purchase. So you can be really creative and push yourself and use either friendly numbers or maybe unfriendly numbers, depending on how challenging you want to make this task.